Hello YouTube! <laughs> Chef Jess back in the kitchen today and I'm doing something a little bit different, something that I usually don't do in the kitchen, um, which is a savory dish. So we're not doing, we are doing something a little bit pastry like, but it's going to be on like the savory kind of notes. So today I had an inspiration to make a brunch dish. So this is something that you could prepare the evening before and then bake in the oven. So basically what it is, is it's kind of cross between a um, a bread pudding and a French toast together, but we're going to actually be baking it in a. Um, we can put this in, and then we put this in the fridge overnight, and then um, the following day we're going to slice this, grill it, and top it with a few other special things. So, this brunch dish is comprised of three elements. So it's going to be the savory bread pudding that I just mentioned, and the bread pudding is. Um, it also has a couple of uh, great flavors. So we've got some sweet corn in there and some green onions. And then the other two elements is going to be a vegan cream cheese. And on top of that, we're also going to be making um, some Japanese pickles. So we've got a little bit of an Asian influence going on with this a little bit closer and show you what I have been doing. So let's have a look up here. I'm going to bring you guys down so you can see. There we are. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our breakfast loaf. So this is our savory bread pudding. So I've already prepared a couple of things ahead of time. So what you'll need for your bread pudding, of course, is some bread. And in my baking, in um, my P1 course, baking course, we do make lots of breads. This is one of the breads that we make in our vegan cuisine course, which is the pan cristal. And that's a local bread here from Spain. And I just cut that up, but you can use any kind of leftover stale bread that you have. And I just put that in the oven and I cooked that on a fan quite low until it was nice and golden. You can kind of hear it really dry. So that's gonna be our bread element. And then of course I mentioned the flavor that we're doing today is I've got some sweet corn and some green onions, which I've just fried off in some dairy-free margarine. And here in Spain, it's hard to get corn which is fresh, so I just use um, just a can of corn. Yeah, connected. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be making our savory custard right now. So that's a combination. We're using an egg replacer called Gloria, and what Gloria is is it replaces eggs for like an analog. So it has not only the flavor but the texture of eggs. And I've combined this with another ingredient, which is a seaweed called Iota. And if you want to learn more about iota, you should come to one of our classes. Um, it has some great functions and it's going to hold everything together, give a lovely texture. And yeah, it's great. Um, another ingredient I put in here is you can just use miso paste and I use a little bit of pepper. So all I'm going to do is with my egg replacer, we're just going to pop that straight into our bowl here. And guys, all these R&D lives, these are always, it's always going to be the first time that I've made this thing. So this is having fun in the kitchen, playing around with different things, seeing what works. So to our dry mix, I'm going to be adding our liquid component. That's a combination of, I'm using a little bit of soy cream here. You could actually use coconut cream. I think it would work quite well with these flavors too. And some unsweetened plant milk. So we're just going to pop that in, we're going to whisk everything together. Oh, there was a little bit of sugar in there too. It is a savory dish, but there was a little bit of sugar just to balance out the flavors. So you can just whisk everything together like this, or you can get in there with one of your stick blenders. I love these. I'm just going to blend it up, make sure there's no lumps. And you'll probably notice at this stage, when you're using the Gloria, it's going to have that smell of eggs. But don't worry, once we put this into the oven tomorrow we cook it, that smell will go away. It's just going to give it a lovely savory, savory flavor. Okay, so that's all blended. Now, what we want to do is we want to take that lovely, crispy, crunchy, stale bread that we put in the oven. We're going to put this straight into our vegan savory custard. We're going to fold that through. All right. And 
then I have my corn pop in the top. I think it'd be quite nice. Alright, so using super low cost ingredients today. So I'm going to set this aside just while we start preparing our other components to our brunch dish. So I can already see it's starting to soak everything up, which is great. So I'm going to just pop that aside. And we're going to work on the other elements. So the other elements that I mentioned, we're going to be making a cream cheese. And because this whole dish is kind of Asian inspired, um, I am using tofu. Um, I'm also using some strained yogurt. So here at the Academy, if you come to the cheese course, you'll actually learn how to make your own yogurt. Or you can just buy an unsweetened plant yogurt. And all I did was I put it in a strainer overnight. And you can put like a clean tea towel. I've got a nut milk bag here over a strainer and it becomes really thick so it's kind of like Greek yogurt so I've added that in addition to my tofu there's also some of the water from the tofu if you don't have enough just add a little extra water um, I have some nutritional yeast and some salt so we're going to put this into the blender blend it up until it's smooth and then we're going to emulsify it with some coconut oil and this coconut oil it's not the virgin coconut oil. This is the one without the flavor. So it's the refined coconut oil. So it's really important because otherwise your cream cheese will taste very coconutty. So I'm going to pop this in my blender and blend everything all up for you. And that yogurt's going to give that kind of that acid kind of component to our sour cream, give a little bit of sour. Sorry, not sour cream, we're making cream cheese, but the cream cheese still has that kind of sour flavor, so it's going to help with that. I'm just going to grab the other lid for my blender. this up so make a bit of noise so guys if you have any questions <laughs> if you have any questions for me live at the moment or if you're watching this recorded just pop them in I'm happy to answer those for you all right let's take a look so it looks quite runny, but we're going to also put that coconut oil in there and then put this into the fridge and we're going to see what happens because remember this is R&D. Alright, so I'm going to pop this back on. So I'm just going to put it on the low. In, guys I'm going to pop this into a container once we're done and then put that into the fridge and tomorrow it should be nice and thick so we're going to be using that as like our cream cheese yeah all right so I'm going to pop that aside so now we're going to move on to our Japanese pickle and we do make lots of pickles here at the Academy and lots of different courses this is a nice quick and easy one so this is what's known as a quick pickle. So all I have in my bowl here is I have some, you can use rice vinegar. I'm actually using sushi vinegar. I also have in there a little bit of sugar. I have some toasted sesame oil, which has given it a really lovely flavor. And yeah, that's it. So I'm just going to pop that straight into a saucepan here. And we're basically just going to put it on the heat until that sugar dissolves and it starts getting nice and warm. And while that's doing its thing, I'm going to show you the vegetables that we're going to be pickling. Alright. 
So the vegetables that I'm pickling today, we have some carrot and some cucumber. But it's like a speed peeler. Yeah. It's similar to this one, basically, but it has little teeth and it gives like the julienne. So all I've done is I did that to like two carrots and one cucumber, and I put some salt in there just to release um, the some some of the water. All right, let's see how our water's going here. Another thing we're going to be adding also is I have some toasted sesame seeds so i'm going to add those as well and i just did them at the same time as when i made the bread so toasted the bread so i'm going to add those too so my sugar's almost dissolved it smells it smells so good <laughs> all right guys so i'm going to pop that straight in toss that through and don't throw away that lovely pickling juice you can use it um, for the next lot of vegetables that you want to pickle so all I'm going to do is pop my cling wrap back on but I'm going to put it to touch so to contact so we can use this tomorrow so I'm just going to leave this on the bench until it's room temperature and then you can pop that into a jar and it'll last in the fridge for a couple of months so yes how quick was that that was so easy all right guys so going back to our breakfast loaf which is what we're all about here today in our live we're doing a brunch loaf with the sweet corn and green onion so i've had my toasted bread soaking in the savory custard um, for about five ten minutes or so and you'll notice that it's already it's already soaked up quite a lot so that's really good so now I'm, all I'm going to do is pop it into my loaf tin and my loaf tin it's I think it's a um, 5 by 9 inch or 22 by about 12 centimeter I've just put some baking paper in there I didn't add any salt to this because there is already salt in the Gloria and also um, we added some of that mushroom powder which is really salty or if you're doing miso that's quite salty too so all right so this is looking good I want it so we can see all the little bits of bread on the top okay yep, you can see it. <laughs> all right and I have a little bit of the corners and the green onions or scallions so I'm going to pop those on the top as well so we kind of know where it is all right so this is going to go into the fridge I'm just going to put a bit of cling wrap on the top I've got some here all right so we're going to put some cling wrap on the top here guys and then this is going to go into the fridge overnight and then tomorrow, when we're ready for our brunch, we're going to bake this in the oven. I'll probably put some more sesame seeds on and maybe some nigella seeds. And then we're going to have that with our lovely Japanese pickles that we just made. And also the cream cheese. Okay, so I'm going to pop that into the fridge. I have put in the description box below the recipe that I drafted up for this, but if there's any changes that I make, I will update it. So yeah, if you have any questions, I did notice a question just earlier, I didn't see, oh, hi Jessica, the draft recipe is not accessible. Okay, I will make sure that it's accessible, I'll go check it. Thanks for letting me know what type of sugar is in it. I put a little bit of granulated sugar, but you can use any sugar, you can even admit it. Um, I just find a lot of Asian cuisine, they do kind of have that sweet kind of savory flavors going on so i wanted to include that um, and a lot of the times when people are making bread pudding they will use a brioche which is a lot sweeter bread and this bread is not sweet so i wanted to kind of add a little bit of a sweetness um, to the recipe in addition there's a little corn in there but i just wanted to add a little more but totally up to you guys so we're going to bake this um tomorrow and i will see you then so i hope you enjoyed this and Give it a try at home and yeah, I'll make sure that that link is working for you guys. I'll catch you soon. 